Thanks for waking up with us. focus for jesus hope each and every one of you are having a blessed day in the lord jesus christ as always today is thursday october 20th 2022 thursday october 20th 2022 um i want to say two things before i get into the video one yes i know in my previous video that i did at the very beginning of the video, I say February. That's because that is when I recorded the video of, <laughs> I think it was uh, what, last year. I have sermons that I recorded. I have other sermons that I recorded um, earlier this year, late last year, you know, no telling. Um, when you know when I when I recorded them because that's what I that's what I do I would literally record and record and record and record and record and record when the spirit gives it to me that's why I'm able not always why but why one of the reasons I'm able to get videos out so fast because the Lord has given me so much and I want to give it back to you all give it to you so you can eat with us and I, you know, I hope and I pray that this ministry has been a blessing to you. I hope and pray that it can continue to be a blessing to you as long as the Lord Jesus Christ allows it. Um, the second thing, I haven't been dropping the videos because YouTube has had me suspended. We're going to put it that way for the last two weeks. Now, I did do another video mentioning it i don't think i'm gonna uh drop that one first i want to drop this one so if i do drop that video and you hear me saying and talking about being suspended that's why because i had recorded that like a week before this video this video is actually newer than that video but i may not drop it y'all you know you understand that so i don't have to i don't have to explain it what i do want to talk about is I think the word that would be fitting is order. We have Doug McMillan on the screen. And Doug McMillan is the chief executive officer of Walmart, CEO, big boy status. <laughs> yeah, I'm the CEO of Walmart. He got, he got that CEO money too. If you go down, it tells you that Doug McMillan, president and the chief executive officer of the retail giant, saw his total compensation increase to $25.7 million last year from $22.6 million 2020. Now, we know what has happened in the last few years. We ain't got to go there. 25 Five point seven million dollars. This man makes a year, give or take. That's what he makes on paper um, from Walmart. Now, you know he may got his money invested here or his money invested there. Blase, blase. Most of it may be in stocks. It don't matter. He making some good money, right? He probably making enough money. What most of us would be like, just let me get a, a, a quarter of it, right? Let's just be real. Let's just be real here. I'm using um, him and Walmart as an example because it's simple to understand. Everybody knows about Walmart, right? Most people do. 
or they heard about it, right? Unless you're in another country and you're like, Walmart. But you understand. Walmart. Retail giant. So on and so on and so on and so on. I actually now work for Walmart. After all these years, now I have a regular job. As I said in other videos. Walk in humility. Do you really think that I want to be working at Walmart when I haven't worked what we call a regular job in pretty much 20 years? Because I have my cleaning service for 15 years. At least 15 years. And then from that, I went on to do other business ventures. Do you really think I want to do that? No, I did not. If you were in my position, you'd be like, man, I don't shoot. Man, I would have figured something out. I did figure something out. I had to do what I had to do in righteousness. It was the best move right now with, um, you know, with, 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 with a lot of stuff. But like I was saying, we're using um, Doug McMillan and Walmart as an example because it's easy to be understood. Nobody's going to argue and say, oh, Doug McMillan, he's the, the top guy. Yeah, he would seem to be the top guy, but who was really the top guy or top girls or top family? The Walmart family, right? The Walmart family. Even though he is the CEO of Walmart, he answers to them. Even though he is a CEO of Walmart making over, was it 20, was it 25? Over $25 million a year, he still answers to them. CEO is a big title, y'all. CEO is, 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 as we say, a top dog title. Is he the one that's really in charge? Or is it the Walton family? We all know the answer to that, which is why I told you I, I want to keep it simple. Why is that? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Now, if we go over. Now, as you see, I typed in how much are the Walmart sisters worth? Because I don't know how many sisters it is. Maybe it's one, maybe it's two. I don't know the family history like that, or at least I don't remember. But uh, you go down and it says, these shares alone have an estimated market value of 330.6 million. Jim Walton boasts direct ownership of 6.3 million shares, which are worth around 730 million. Sister Alice has direct ownership of 6.7 million shares, which are worth approximately 776 million dollars. Look like they make more money than the CEO, right? If you go down again, it says Walmart's Alice Walton is the world's richest woman with 54.4 billion. Now, those are her shares in Walmart, but she has obviously invested and made money in other places. And this is of April 8th, 2020. Maybe she's the world's Richest woman still, or you know, at least what they say or whatnot. But either way, rather she is the world's richest um, in 2020 or 2021, 2022, or if it's somebody else. 54.4 billion is a lot of money in the world that we currently live in. Now to us, eh, yeah, the flesh says yes, yeah, a lot of money. We could do a lot with 54.4 billion. I know I can. But in the grand picture, I'm not going to say grand scheme because we ain't running no scheme over here, right? God ain't running no scheme in that sense. In the grand picture of things, 54.4 billion, eh, eh, that's, that's understanding your worth. That's truly understanding understanding your worth. I'm not mad at these people being worth fifty four point four billion. 
If I'm mad, it's because of how they got it. If I'm mad, I'm mad at, at us. You may say, well, how are you going to be mad how they got it when he worked for that? It's always a story to a story. Just put it like that. If I'm mad, I'm mad at our people for what we did. I'm going to tell you one thing I thought. Here I am working for Walmart. It shouldn't be Walmart. It should be King Mart. It should be whatever your name is, Mart. I got a, got a, I got a lovely sister in Christ. And hopefully she's your sister too. Sister Clark. Clark Mart. But why are we in this situation? Because of our disobedience. If I'm mad at anything, I'm mad at that. As God said that he would use the Gentiles to provoke us to jealousy. This provokes me to jealousy. This provokes me to jealousy right here. It provokes me to jealousy to stay the course. Because that 54... Point four billion. That's light work. Light work. Well, if Satan has blessed his children with these enormous amounts of so-called money, so-called wealth, you don't think that God is going to do better? No, no. God's just going to top Satan. He's going to he's going to do lower, less than that. No, he's going to top that. He's going to Blow, blow it out the water. Yeah, I said it. Water. He's going to blow it out the water. We're going to be so wealthy and healthy that it's going to be ridiculous in a good way. We're going to be so wealthy and healthy, it's going to be ridiculous in a good way. And it's going to be actual wealth. It's going to be actual health. I mean, we talk about health today, but is it really health? Really, we just we just we just fighting to survive as long as we can. I mean, let's just be real. We talk, we say health. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Eating healthy, this, that, blase, blase. But it ain't really being it ain't really being healthy in that sense. It's really just doing what you can do with the wisdom that God's given you, so you can survive as long as you can. To hopefully continue preaching the gospel. Let's just be real here. This ain't real health. God has shown us real health in the scriptures, in the word. What's to come? When we get our new glorified bodies, that's real health. Because remember the, the root of health deals with uh, uh, holy, holiness. That's true holding it when we are completely made whole when we put out this vile flesh things aren't always what they seem to be now like I said earlier I used the Walmart family and the CEO as an example but there are many examples like this you could talk about the American government. You got the American government on the surface, and you got the what? What they call the, sh the the shadow government, right? We know who the shadow government really is: uh, powers, principalities, rulers of the darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. That's that's the real shadow government, not this garbage they be talking about. But you gotta understand the code. We understand the code because they got the code from God and made their own code. Therefore, when we're walking in the spirit and we are obedient to the word of God, he said that what? He said that he was going to give us a spirit that will guide us and lead us in some truth. No, that would guide us and lead us in all truth. Black lives matter. White lives matter. All truth matters. All truth matters matters that's how i see it i don't know about you things aren't always what they seem to be you could think a person is really running the show when they really ain't running the show now 
again, the Walmart, that's an easy example. But there are so many other in examples. In fact, there's a big example. There's a big example. And it deals with this world. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Hmm. But by manifestation of the truth, we what we talk about manifest they talk about manifest and stuff. We manifest we we manifest the truth by it coming forth from within us. Not only in word, but indeed in action and how you live your life on a daily basis, on a hourly basis, on a minute basis. Because just that fast, you could end up doing something you can get no business doing. Let's just be real. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. In the sight of who? In the sight of God. God is watching. I just had a, a situation like that. Just had a situation like that where I told a I told a guy, I said, man, do right, man, do right by us, do right by us. I said, I don't know your, I don't know your belief, I don't know your faith, but God is watching, know that. But if our gospel is hid, excuse me, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God should shine unto them okay that's the scripture we want to get to Satan would be the what the CEO of this world the lowercase g-o-d the lowercase CEO of this world who has blinded the minds of them which believe not why they don't why they don't why they don't believe the gospel Satan has blinded them he has blinded their minds, having them to worship another Christ or to think that they are saved when they're really not saved and they're walking in self-righteousness. Lest the what? Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ mean lest the true light shine on them. Remember what Lucifer means, light bearer. And Christ through the gospel, right? Who is the image of God should shine unto them he shines unto us through what through the gospel through his love for god so loved the world now we um click here we're going to go to the cross references we're going to scroll down we're just going to look at a few of these right here now remember it just told us that satan is the lowercase ceo of this world Remember, we're speaking in context. I'm not changing scripture. You, hopefully you get it. Hopefully you got enough wisdom or enough common sense. Um, he's the lowercase CEO of this world. Lowercase G-O-D of this world. God of this world. He has the knowledge of good and evil. The same thing he told um, Eve in the garden. You shall be as, uh, be as us. You shall be as the gods, knowing good and evil. Adam and Eve were not gods. They were immortal, but they were not gods. They only had the knowledge of good. They didn't have the knowledge of good and evil. In the book of uh, Psalms, Christ um, speaks about us being gods. People that say, oh, you claim to be a god, not to other stuff. Christ himself said it. Matter of fact, Christ got on the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, hypocrites, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, when he, was, when he was proclaiming to be the son of God. Matter of fact, I didn't um, have that in my notes, but I'm going to go look at it. And that's why I define how I define, according to the Spirit, what it means to be a God. I ain't talking about what the 5% is. I ain't studying what they're talking about. I'm talking about the Word of God. Y'all stop getting confused. And because somebody says something, oh, you're one of them, or you believe that, you believe that. What is the Word of God? Because you don't believe the Word of God. That's why. You don't believe the Word of God. And you're running off and you meddling and stuff. You ain't got no damn business. And yeah, I said it damned. Because that's what going to lead you to damnation. So we in, uh, what's that, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. 
Let me make sure I remember that. If we go over here, if I can get back, and then we type in ye are gods. And just scroll down. Psalms 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are what? Children of the Most High. Then he goes in, he says that you will die like men. I've said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Sound familiar? Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Now, let me see. No, why it's not use this app. So let me see if I can go back. How did you go back with this? Okay, we're going to type it again. <laughs> Ye are gods. Let's type it again. I want you to see where Christ said it. Christ is quoting Psalms 82. Right here, we go to John. Let's go to the Bible view. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do ye stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. He, Christ was the big G God in the flesh. We just read it where he says he was the, it, no, it didn't say it right there specifically, but it does say it, the express image of the Father, right? But he is still the image of the Father. That's what we specifically read earlier, right? Jesus answered him, is it not written in your law? I said, he said that, your gods, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God, what, came Huh? If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. Who the word of God come to? The very people he was speaking to, especially the prophets of old. He told the prophets of old that you are gods. And the scripture cannot be broken. Y'all calling Christ a liar? Because you lack understanding? Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world. Thou blasphemy, because I said... I am the son of God. By him saying he was the son of God, he was declaring himself as God. By us being in him, because of his salvation, we become what? Sons of God, lowercase s. So therefore, when we are in Christ, the scripture is fulfilled. He brings us back to our Godhood. It's just that we learn not the knowledge of good and evil through disobedience. Now we have to be brought back into obedience. You can't undo the fruit that's already eaten. And you cannot break the scripture. Christ is getting on them because he's like, okay, y'all getting on me because I said I'm the son of God, which is declaring to be God in the flesh. But I wrote where I said that I called y'all God. But you will die like men. Very, very interesting. Now, um, going back to... Yo, give me a second. Okay, I think I figured it out. <laughs> I got so many Bible apps. I use different ones for different purposes. So y'all give me a second while I figure this out. But I think I got it. We was in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, right? In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them. Now we want to go look at the cross references. And we see it says, again, the devil taketh him, Christ, up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe in there are others that believe it. doesn't matter if he um, did or didn't, but there's some things that seem to support support it, that he gave him a, a, a glimpse into the future in regards to what he was building or striving to build. 
and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. He had the power to do it because he is the current CEO of this world. He hasn't been fired, fired, <laughs> if, you, if you get my understanding. He had the power to, to do that, right? And the same thing that went on with Christ is the same thing that goes on with everybody. The devil comes and, hey, I'll give you this. You better not worship me. I'll give you that. You better not worship me. Some people will sell their soul for a bag of chips. Literally. 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 What happens is the system is created. You have all these stresses and stuff like that. And you create these different things to break people and then you have people that end up selling their soul for less than what they would normally have sold it because they're pretty much already broken because of the system that's been created system society that's been created that's been created excuse me by the devil himself on this world because he's a ceo and he can do that right now you gotta understand what's going on y'all you gotta understand what's going on I know I be going back and forth and I be stumbling my words sometimes, but I got a lot of thoughts in my mind. I want to make sure that I get them out because I hate when I do a video and then I don't say something. Then afterward, I'm like, oh, man, oh, God, I should have made that point or I thought about it and I didn't say it. And then, you know, it was something I was trying, I was trying to connect and then I didn't do it. So um, y'all you know, bear with me. Then we go down here, we see in John 12, now the judgment judgment of this world, now shall the prince of this world be cast out. He hath what? He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. We know that Christ mentioned that so many times. They can't see, they can't hear. Or, you know, sometimes he said, lest they should see or lest they should hear. Well, why can they not see in here? Because the prince of this world, the CEO of this world, has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart. If their heart is hardened, then they are like idols. They are like idols. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and they have nothing in me. Um, then we see in John 16 of judgment. He's talking about why the world will be judged and the different things through the spirit, right? Because the prince of this world is judged. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. If you're fellowshipping with devils, then what are they doing? They are blinding your eyes and hardening your heart. They are blinding your eyes and hardening your heart. And they're seeing the devil as a CEO because that's what he is. He's a CEO of this world right now, right? The God, the God of this world. And he's presenting it like he's the head Negro in charge. But Christ is the head Negro in charge. And Satan knows that. But he's not going to present it that way in 100% truth. Because he wants the glory for himself. He's making it seem like Christ is the enemy. Which technically is, but you know what I'm saying, hopefully. When... The devil, Satan, the great red dragon, whatever you want to call him, works for Christ. But the people aren't looking at it that way. They're looking at, oh, I'm rolling with Satan. I'm rolling with, he's the CEO. He's the CEO of this, of this world. I think, um, was it uh, Dylan, the, um, the, uh, pop star or rock and roll star I think he even said he talked about the CEO of this world
And then Christ is like, no, it's me. The people are like, man, who is this nigga? We don't, we don't, we don't rock with you. We got our CEO. This is a CEO. And Christ is like, but I'm in context now. I'm the Walmart family. I'm the Walmart family. My father built this and we hired him. We hired, in this case, Doug would be symbolic of Satan. I'm not saying Doug McMillan is a devil. I don't know, I don't know nothing about him. But you get what I'm saying, hopefully. It's like the you know, it's like Doug McMillan, Mr. McMillan saying, no, I, you know, this is my this is my company. I, I built this. And the Walmart family like, uh no, sir, we hired you. We gave you opportunity and we hired you to do the job. And you're gonna do the job as we tell you to do it. Plain and simple, or you will be fired. This is what's going on. Satan is saying, no, I, I built this. I built this. This is my company. This is my family company, my family business. And God is like, hello, guys. No. Let me show you the evidence. Here go the, here go the paperwork. Here go the, here, go the, here go the receipts. Just like I did, Joe, where were you? Show me how you did it. If you can educate me and give me wisdom on something I don't know, then do it. I'm more than willing. You see, God will humble himself too. If you can show me, then show me and I will be humbled. That's not, that's not being proud. That's just truthful. But when we talk like that, in confidence of the spirit, oh, you're being prideful. You're being this, you're being that. No, show me. Show me and I will be, and I will be humbled. Where in time past ye walked, ye, excuse me, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Now, if this spirit that is of the prince of the power of the air, technology anybody that passes through what? The air. <laughs> If this spirit is working in the children, children of disobedience, then what is it working to do? Disobedience. And he blesses them for being disobedient. I get on drugs. I get that alcohol. I get that liquor. I give you them cars. I give you that money. I give you whatever your heart desires if you will bow down and worship me. Are they bowing down, and, bowing down and worshiping Satan in righteousness? Are they coming to him in righteousness and he's rewarding them? Or is it in unrighteousness? Therefore, he is rewarding them for what? For working disobedience and spreading disobedience. This is why you see the world continually getting worse and worse and worse and worse because more and more people, I'm, I'm going to use that term, but I'm going to explain it a little bit more. More and more people are selling their souls for less. But what I really want to say is more and more people are, are really just being exposed to what they were from the beginning. Tears amongst the wheat. But they still have to go through everything just like we have to go through because they are you know, planted and rooted in this earth just like we are, which is what the book of Matthew and Christ speaks about that, uh, you know, tells us. Let the wheat and the tear grow up together. Lest you try to pull up the tares, you pull up the, the wheat because the tares are feeding off of us. God raining down the manna, giving the dew and giving all these different things, and they're feeding off us because he feed, he's feeding us. That's why they can look like us, walk like us, talk like us, because they're feeding off the same nutrients. But we can get deep with that too, right? <laughs> Think about that. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the ruler 
of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. And we know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. If the whole world lied in wickedness back when this was written, how much more does the world lie in wickedness today? Like if you could see what some of us really see in regards to how much evil and wickedness, you would not be able to handle it. I, I you know, I ain't gonna say I wish that on 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 anybody, but man, it get heavy sometimes because you can literally see like, man, this is wicked. Like just the smallest thing, you be like, oh man, I see what they're doing, and then it's like you get to see the other pieces to it and you're like oh you just get more and more upset and you get sad because you really see the world for what it is that much more just as the wise preacher said with much knowledge comes much sorrow and that's a scripture that's near and dear to my heart because god knows that's the truth it's the truth the more, the more I, I learn, the more I grow, the more I apply, the more sorrow I get. Because you see things for what they really are. You see people for who they really are. You see what they can't see before they even see it. 10, 20 steps or moves ahead. You know while they doing before they know why they doing some sometimes. And then you know what they're gonna say or what they're gonna do and they try to lie to you about it. And then it hurts even more because you already know. Like, really? Really. But even though Satan is the CEO, lowercase C, lowercase E lowercase o of this world things aren't always what they seem to be even though he is the CEO of this world God is still in control sounds cliche right we've heard it so many times but do you actually believe it or just something to say I tell myself that when things aren't going my way God is still in control. I trust you, Lord. I believe in I, I believe in you. I don't understand why certain things, why I gotta go through this trial, tribulation. I don't understand it because I don't want to go through it. Cause it's, it's always something. I'm just trying to take care of my family and you know what I'm saying, get ahead to help to help people, but it's always something. You know, you say, I can't never get ahead. Let's just be real. I, I tell myself, I remind myself. God is, in, God is still in control. I still trust you, Lord. Because do I? Do I still trust him? Oh, it's easy to trust God when things are going the way you want them to go. But do you still trust God when everything seems like it's falling apart? How about when you got to go to work a regular nine to five? Get up at three something in the morning so you can be to work at five o'clock in the morning. How about putting all that wear and tear on your body? But you still got to give and go to work. And you can barely walk at work. You got to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down a ladder. You know the little ladders they be having in Walmart? Or you got to go pull out 2,000 some pounds of, of freight, a pallet, a pallet of water. That's probably about 2,000 pounds or more. And then your back start hurting, your back lock up. But hey, you still got to push through. You still got to push through for your family. You still got to push through for your people. And then you think like, why I got to be here when all you had to do is let me sell the house, Lord? All you had to do was sell the house, Lord. You could have stepped in and so, had the house sold and touched some people's heart. And took away all the foolishness 
that went on, blackmail, all type of other stuff. People trying to, you know what I'm saying, literally blackmail us from <laughs> 30 something, 40 years ago, because they see how much the house, house is worth now. And they say, hey, you give us a, a third and we'll be quiet. Do you really think that I wanted, like I said, want to be getting up that early to go to Walmart? No, I don't. I want to sell my property and go on to the next property and next property and next property. And yet I still remind myself, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. You, you're my father. You know better. Just like I know better for my children. Certain things they have to go through so they can get certain lessons. It's the same thing. Ain't that something? And I tell them, because I trust them, you control. You are in control, and I trust you. I'm, 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 I'm riding this thing to, till it's over. I'm not, I'm not going back. So I, I can get mad all I want to, right? I can get mad. I can power. I can do this, do that. You know, we, we all get mad at God sometimes. Let's just be real. So y'all ain't real. It's like you ain't never got mad at God. Because something didn't go your way. Or you just mad for whatever reason you mad at him for. I'm talking about as a believer. Not like you ain't never questioned God. But be careful when you question him now. Because he will respond back. <laughs> but at the end of the day. Do you still trust him? Or you just been yapping your gums. All these years. Do I still trust him? Or have I done over a thousand videos. Just for vain, vanity's sake. If I did that, then I'm I'm one sorry, miserable person because I could I should have got paid off this then. If I was gonna do that, I should have got paid. I should have been I should have been more wise about it and set this up where a brother can make bank off of off of preaching. I don't make no bank off of preaching. If I'm making bank, then come on, man. Come on. But um, I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and roll out. My wife is uh over here now. Yeah, I ran the bath water. Yeah, see, my wife ran my bath water with Epsom salt in it because I got to soak. Cause my I told you my back is literally, literally locked up. Like I can barely, I can barely walk, y'all. I can barely walk. Right now, you know, um, I can barely walk. But by the time you see this video, hopefully it will have gotten better because I still got to go to work. So pray for me in advance and pray for me when you get this video. With that being said, God bless each and every one of you in Jesus Christ's name. As always, stay focused for Jesus. And as you know, the truth is not debated. It is declared. This is just a test. The big one comes later.
You wish to test me? Good. 